Right, hello, welcome back to Almost Dead Outside, the home of terrible quality videos, terrible audio, terrible gameplay, and me talking absolute rubbish for about half hour. Okay, maybe 20 minutes. Right, today we're playing Legacy of the Duelist. My, uh, First time properly playing this, I've um, tried a little bit and I was finding these things kind of slow, but we'll give this a good try. Let's get in. Of course, sign in as me, almost dead out, so you can add me on Xbox if you like. Uh, we'll go single player uh, campaign and we will try. Ooh. Mark the Zexel, mm, too new for me. Um, 5 Ds, one of my favourites. Um, GX, yeah, I've done a little bit of that, try and like get used to the game. Uh, I think we will jump in with the original series into Duelist Kingdom. Mm. Loading Yu Gi Oh! Histories. The story of Yugi Moto begins at Domino High School, where Duel Monsters, the hottest card game in the world, was all the rage. Yugi was the best duelist around, and his friend Joey wanted desperately to learn how to duel as well. So our history of Yugi Moto starts with Yugi teaching the rules of Duel Monsters to Joey, as their friends D and Tristan watch. Okay, I'm putting that. Yeah, I'm putting it out there now. These, there are voices for these. I'm not doing voices. I can't do voices. Hey Joey, Earth to Joey, it's your turn. Um, ah, oh, isn't he cute when he's thinking? Hey Tristan, Yugi here's teaching me how to play dual monsters. Ruling monsters, dual monsters, your Nimrod. It's as close as the voices you get. They've been at it for hours. Joey's starting to get the hang of the game, but Yugi's like an expert. Okay, Yugi, it's time to duel. Oh, that means me. Cool. Dragon's Mirror. Ooh, good. I like that card. Okay. Wow, what a stirring intro. Inf98 sure can spin a tail. He sure can, unless you've seen the anime. Greetings, Duelists. I am Informate, part of the Virtual Game Simulator. I have been programmed to teach you proper dueling rules and best practices. So let's get started and walk you through the basics. In this scenario, you'll be taking on the role of the legendary Yugi Moto, facing off against the not quite as legendary Joey Wheeler. Realize it's Yugi Muto. I th always thought it was Moto. There you go. Oh come on, these aren't Yugi's cards. These are too basic. Let's set a monster. Yeah, okay. I've played Yu-Gi-Oh games before, so I kind of get how this is gonna work. Back when the GX game was on the PlayStation 2. Now that was a good game. Again, very slow, but good game. Now let's open the phase menu and, and end our turn. Your turn, Joey. Blazing and patchy, not a card I've seen. Ah, you suck. Congratulations, you've survived your first attack. You may have noticed that Joey attacked you and wounded him. Well, wound up hurting himself. I am very dyslexic, so this could take a while. Let me explain what happens when a monster attacks a defense position monster, the attacker's attack value is less defense value. If the attacking monster has Let's be honest, if you're watching this, you know how Yugi works, but Yugi works by now. And if you don't, I'm not gonna be the one that teaches you how to play it. I suck. Next we will play a spell card and trap card. These cards are played in the spell and trap zone. Sorry. Green spell cards can be played right away, but most can only be played on your main phase. MP or 
main main phase one, main phase two. You can also set and activate it at a later time. Select your banner of courage. Activate effect. Gain 200 attack. Pink trap cards. Let's set a trap. Yeah. Let's get ready to attack. Switch. I want to place a card. Oh, I can summon these, I think. Oh, I can't. Oh, okay. Change to attack position. Oh, I can summon him, though. Okay, our attack is all set. Let's switch the battle phase and attack. Yeah. Let's do this. Yeah. Well, that was anticlimactic, wasn't it? Jory doesn't stand a chance. Let's clean his clock. On this turn, we'll summon and that sounds like I said Cox. I'm so sorry. We'll summon another monster. Up until now, you have only used monsters level four or below. Yeah, but I can attribute them to summon, can't I? Yeah. Yeah, I know how that works. Yeah, let's do this. Why would I why would I tribute my strongest monster? Like Yugi wouldn't do that. Uh, okay. Select him, activate effect. effect. Core of the Haunted. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay, that's why that makes it. Okay. Select the monster to gain attack. Okay. Uh, hmm, that's a big card. Let's do this. Going down, Joey Wheeler. It's almost like I have the right card to be able to do this in the tutorial. Yeah! What a card that powerful totally wipes me out. Yes. Oh, you stink at this game, Joey. You did fine, Joey. I just had better cards. My grandpa owns a game shop, and I'll get, I'll get all the best cards from him. Cheater. Your own card shop? What are we waiting for? Let's go. Okay, maybe I can even get my grandpa to show us his super rare card. He's got, oh, I wonder what card that could be, unless you've seen... Little did they know, someone was listening into a conversation. Someone who was looking for a very rare card to add to his collection. Still can't believe after like the entire series that they were supposed to have gone to school together which doesn't make any sense oh oh yay new deck avatar okay and i've got joey's deck signature card axe raider new card okay okay oh but none of them are it's not blue it's not blue it's, um, red, it's black dragon no in for my afternoon, Yugi and his friends went to Grandma's, uh, Grandpa, <laughs> Grandpa's game shop. Yugi wanted to show his friends his Grandpa's prized possession. I wonder what card it could be. It's probably like Karibo or Winged Karibo. I can't remember any cards off the top of my head. Well, that's sucks. Uh, okay. Uh, Gramps, could you show my friends your awesome super rare card? Rare card? You mean my card? Hmm? Please, please. Yeah, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Mm, so rare, so powerful. Yeah, there's more powerful cards nowadays, though, isn't there? This card is priceless, sir. 
Only four of them in the world. Oh, not in real life. They're everywhere, even I've got a copy. Only a classmate from school ran into the shop. His name was Seto Kaiba, the young CEO of Kaiba Corp. He had found the card he was looking for. Price for that blue eyes. I can pay anything you ask. I'm sure you could, but this car is more is worth more to me than you could ever offer. Senile old fool. Kaiba stormed out of Grandpa's store. The team was disturbed by Kaiba's obsession with Blue Eyes White Dragon. That's because he already got two of them. The next day when Yugi came back to the store with his friends, he found Grandpa was gone. When the phone rang, it was Kaiba on the other end, mocking Yugi that he kidnapped his grandfather and took him. Still a really weird first ever, like first ever episode of this series. Yugi and his friends rushed to Kaiba Core and found Gram uh, Grandpa lying on the floor, defeated. Grandpa, are you okay? Yugi, I failed. I wanted to teach that boy Kaiba a lesson about the heart of the cards, but I lost. Gra Grandpa! How's the old man feeling, hmm? God, he looks terrifying in that day. Kaiba, you silly, what have you done to him? We had a duel, that's all we uh, over. But I guess playing against a champion like myself was too much simulation for the old fool. Kaiba, you should be ashamed of yourself. Look at the sweet prize I won. Oh, what a he's such a dick in the first episode. I mean, he's a dick in the whole series, but you know. Kaiba held up Grandpa's blue eyes white dragon and ripped it in half. Grandpa, my blue eyes white dragon, my treasure. Grandpa, hold on. How could you do such a thing? Yugi, take this. Huh? Grandpa, I built this deck. I put my soul in these cards. Taught you everything I know, Yugi. Take my cards and teach Kaiba respect for the heart of the cards. Okay, Grandpa, I'll do it. I wonder what cards he could have in his deck. Nothing like super powerful and could win the game if you had all of it in your hand. Mmm, no, can't be that. Are you ready to play, Runt? Playtime is over, Kaiba. Huh? Kaiba is taken back by Yugi's sudden transformation. It seemed like he had become a different person, as if he was more comfortable, confident and powerful than before. Yeah, he also grows like two feet. And becomes like some muscular dude instead of like a tiny child. Kaiba, prefer yourself, because it's time to duel! Oh, I have to use a story deck, don't I? I don't have to. But that sounds like some fun for a later episode. Ooh, rock paper, rock paper. Uh, which one? I'm not gonna. I'm gonna do it without looking. Ah, oh. should have looked, you know. So we're gonna fight him. Is it gonna tutorial me or do I get to fight on my own this time? Oh, I get to fight on my own. Awesome, I think. Ooh, first piece. Okay, so I don't play. Do they have a thousand attack in this? I swear in real life they only have a hundred on each. Oh, anyway. Uh, we will go for. Celtic Guardian, summon. Uh, and part of my hand just in case because I have a bad habit of doing that. Oh, that was a bad move. Oh no. Okay, can I summon anything? In there? See, the new, the, like, the newish kind of games. Like these, are, this isn't speed dueling that I'm used to. I haven't played like this in donkeys. Oh no, I'm gonna get to get a load of damage already. L, L. Good thing is though, he hasn't put him in defense mode. So, oh, I'm gonna cross it guardian again, and then.
Ah. Yeah, go Karibo. Such a cute little dude. Oh, still oh, okay, right, I need to stop. Right, we're going defensive. This is before the guards get very wet. Oh. Oh no. Come on. No oh, that, oh no. No. Oh no. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm so burned. I guess I'm a dark magician when I've screwed up so much. Oh man. I told you. Like, come to my channel to let me stuck again. <laughs> right, giant soldier stone. Ah, awesome. You will protect me from. Oh no, I only let me protect me for one more turn. <laughs> Really, you know. But I didn't exactly advertise I was good at games. Oh no. Oh, I'm so dead already. I I lost already. God, I'm stuck. Wait, what? I have a skill or something? Right, we've already seen this. Insector Ladybug. Oh cool, so I have some of the relatively new cards. Right, we'll go rock this time. Yeah, we go first. Awesome, we'll go first. Another shot, eh? Oh, completely different setup. Okay, awesome. These are some better cards. Alright, we'll play. Oh, okay, so I need to play someone. Right, you're on level 4. We'll set you for now. For now. Oop, don't work around it. I've made on the field for three of your opponent turns. I'm just going to face a little monster. I'm going to save that for the next turn. Oh really? Straight off the bat? Right, I'm going to set you because I'm going to need you. And we're going to chuck Feral Imp down as a set. I can get Gaia the Fierce Knight out next turn. This game isn't as slow as I thought, which is great. Oh, you son of a bitch. I knew I shouldn't have set that card. Seriously? 
god, I suck at this game. Explain to me what that is. Yeah. Okay. Last go for this episode. Oh, okay. Oh, great. Instantly use pot of greed. Oh, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Activate effect. There we go. Awesome. Right. Draw three cards and then discard two cards. Oh, I don't want to risk that. Okay, we'll chuck Soldier of Stone down. And then we'll chuck a Source of Revealing Light down. This is going a hell of a lot better. Awesome. Ooh, yeah, bad move, Kaiba. Yeah, get dick. Yeah. What a powerful monster. I only had level four. Just like a fell imp can't even do it. Alright, um. Chuck this other one down. The D spell can't get rid of both. And we'll chuck him there. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Oh, that was kind of obvious, but gives us another. Uh, yes, you have to be smart here. Give me another giant soldier of stone. Uh, you've only got 1800, so that's good. Chuck down another soldier stone. Thought it will do it. Guaranteed to. Oh, thank god. Oh, I can discard, discard cards. I don't. Oh, awesome. Get rid of them too. Oh, great. Oh, Heart of the Underdog. Brilliant card. Okay, awesome. Oh, I thought it was a skill. I completely forgot it was a card. 
anything either. Oh, he's playing me at my own game. Of course he is, it's quite a... Dark hole. Oh, he's saving that for a rainy day, just for all monsters in the field. As soon as he brings out that blue eyes, boom, gone. Right, um... Oh, what do I do here? Do I try to get another defensive monster down, or what do I... Ooh. No, we're gonna go on the attack. Yeah. Oh, okay, we're gonna attack that one down. Oh, I didn't go to oh, I didn't go to battle phase, okay. Oh there we go. Oh no! Oh my god, I suck so much. Oh no! Oh, okay, but if I do this, ah, awesome, I like it. Awesome, so he can't do anything. I'm going to activate this. I don't know if I can do, do, use the effect twice, but we'll give it a go. Um, yeah, we'll go into battle phase and get rid of... Yep, my defense card is gone and we'll end the turn. Riveting, riveting commentary this. Oh, I can and chain that. Great, that's great. So now we can ooh, um, bring out. Rude Kaiser. Buy my stony mountain. Uh, we'll chuck down another one of these. <laughs> awesome. Oh dear. Right. Battle phase. Gone and gone. Awesome. And like, okay, we're doing better. I, like he's taking no damage, but I, I'm not taking any currently.
Phase. Let's do this. Uh, we'll use Kyla because it's not that good. Time to finish this. Oh, oh hello. Oh, who is he saving himself at? Oh no, hey. Look at that. Okay, and that's where we shall end this for now. Thank you very much. Goodbye.